Today I'm going to show you how to wire the generic FTC robot setup with two motors and two servos. So here is the one male micro USB to male micro uh, USB mini B connector. So I'm going to plug one end into the ZTE speed phone over here. And then the, the larger end into the core power distribution module. So then I'm going to get the USB A to uh, male USB mini B and I'm going to plug that into port 0 on the core power distribution module. I'm going to plug it into a motor controller over there. Then I'm going to get the same type of cable again. Plug it into port 2 this time. And plug the other end into another motor controller. Then I'm going to get another one of those same cables, plug it into the core power distribution module. And plug the other end into a servo controller over there. Now I'm going to get a Anderson power pole, uh, a connect like a wire with Anderson power pole connectors on either end. I'm going to plug one in to the power out of the core power distribution module, and the other end to the servo controller. Same wire. One end goes to the core power distribution module output. The other end goes to a motor controller input. And another one of these power distribution wires, one goes into the core power distribution module output, the other into a motor controller input over here. Now I'm going to plug in some motors. So into the uh, into the motor controller, the motor with the Anderson power pole connector at the end is easily plugged in so I'm going to plug it into motor controller 2. I'm going to plug in the other one into motor controller 2 as well. Then I'm just going to plug in a third motor into the other motor controller. Just to show you how the robot wires together. And then I'm going to connect two servos in ports 6 and 1 to the servo. So uh, make sure that you put the wires in in the right way so it's uh, like there are little markings on the edge of the servo controller. Make sure you follow those markings. Now I'm going to connect the battery to it and switch it on.